A Smarter Planet Meets Green IT. Let's show you how to save 600 watts in 6 minutes. The busier a CPU is, the more power it consumes. In this video, we'll show you how optimized database tuning provides better response times, ability to add more users, and lower energy consumption. We are going to go to the San Mateo IBM Innovation Center and work with an IBM P570 with 16 CPUs and 36 gig of memory running DB2 953 with automatic tuning enabled. We're also going to use IBM Tivoli for energy management. We'll also use DBI's Brother Panther to isolate and tune problematic SQL. The proof is in the numbers. We'll show you the power used when the machine is idle, when it's busy, and then the power used after the machine is tuned up. We'll see lower CPU utilization, lower power consumption, and SQL and transaction response time improvements. We will demonstrate scalability by adding more users. More well-tuned virtualized database servers can be located within a given frame. All right, let's go to San Mateo at the IBM Innovation Center. Let's get started. The database currently has one simulated web user, and as you can see with Enmon, the system is basically idle. This is the IBM Tivoli Energy Management Console. It shows CPU busy and about 2588 watts of energy is being used. With one user active on this system, response times are approximately 15 seconds. Next, we begin by adding additional users to this system. We're going to keep increasing the number of users until we fully saturate the CPUs at 100% CPU busy. As you watch Enmon, you can see the CPUs are becoming increasingly busy. DB2 automatic tuning is enabled and is adjusting the size of the buffer pools to react to changes in the workload. And the CPUs are still becoming busy, busier and busier and busier. We're getting loaded up pretty well now. As we approach 50 active users on the system, CPU busy becomes 100% busy, and we hit the wall. The CPUs are now saturated, and as you watch elapsed response times, transaction response times will begin to rapidly degrade. With 101 users, response times have climbed to 43 seconds. Power consumed has now dramatically increased to some 3200 watts. 3225 watts. Now we're going to tune the database with DBI's Brother Panther. We begin by working with the power database and we're going to find the tables with the highest I.O. activity. We've identified the particular table with high I.O. rates. Now we're going to find the SQL driving the I.O. to that table. And we can see some of these statements have very high CPU utilization. So we're going to take the top five most CPU costly statements driving I.O. to that table and we're going to pass them to the IBM Design Advisor. The design advisor will give us index recommendations that will improve the physical design and lower the cost of executing this SQL workload. This will allow us to achieve more transactions and more users on this server. We will improve scalability. Brother Panther passed the five most CPU costly statements to the IBM Design Advisor and we have received a recommendation or recommendations for indexes that will yield a 99% plus cost improvement. Using the SQL editor we can easily change the name of the index that will be created and then all we have to do is click the play button 
just like on your DVR, and that will create the index. What we're going to do now is actually implement the new indexes from the command line so that you can see the correlation to CPU busy in Nmon. Notice how quickly the indexes are created. Both of the new indexes are created in about 55 seconds. As soon as the indexes are created, you will see an immediate drop in CPU utilization. Did I mention that the table we're working with has 4.4 million rows? And with the indexes created, you can now see that the CPUs are bored. CPU busy is 0%, and response times are now sub-second, 0.0018 seconds. This machine is now delivering screaming fast performance. Power consumption has now dropped from 3,225 watts all the way down to 2,736 watts. After doubling the number of users, energy consumption is still very low. Double again, 401 users, energy consumption is still low, response times are still sub-second. Same great performance at 743 users, and here you can see the power consumption curve. We are now running 18,200 SQL statements per second and doing a great job of meeting our SLA attainment goals. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison. 100 users, CPU busy 100%, 3300 watts, and 50 second response time. Compared to a tuned up database with double the number of users, CPU busy 6%, consuming only 2688 watts with sub-second response time. Here's a great idea. This is about the equivalent of turning off 10 60 watt light bulbs. Tuning just this one database server has saved several hundred dollars of energy cost over the course of a year and tremendously improved transaction response times from 15 seconds down to sub-second. Throwing money at more CPUs won't solve performance and scalability problems if the database isn't properly tuned. Database automatic tuning only reacts to workloads to compensate for inadequate tuning. So it's your choice. Do you want to save money on energy costs, software license costs, and hardware costs? Do you want high costs and inadequate performance, or low costs and high performance? There are many ripple effect benefits of proper database performance tuning and optimization. Business runs faster, queries run faster, and you'll have lower transaction and CPU utilization costs. When you properly tune a database server, you will eliminate waste, you will eliminate overhead, and when you take your server farms and embark on server virtualization and consolidation projects, you will be more successful at getting more virtual servers into a consolidated frame. This can save as much as 1.3 million dollars per year and have an energy savings of over six thousand dollars a year. Brother Panther's performance trend charts make it very easy to graphically see your cost-cutting performance improvements. While it's true that the examples we looked at today were done at IBM San Mateo Innovation Center, real-world problems with high-cost SQL statements exist in almost every database on the planet. There is often a handful of SQL statements that are real troublemakers, they're driving your CPU costs, your license costs, and your hardware costs sky high. Please visit www.dbisoftware.com and learn more about how we can help you. Thank you.